What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and Stellantis engineers have spoken. They've basically told the executive team and told the company that the cheapest way or the quickest way to shoehorn a V8 into the new Dodge Charger is to use a tried-and-true platform. Let's talk about it. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. We've talked about this in uh, detail. You know, like, they were floating ideas of maybe using the California's, the Ferrari California's 3.9 liter twin turbo. Not the engine itself, but the design to be able to build out an engine that they could drop and would fit in the Charger. Uh, evidently, discussions with engineers and their executive team were like, yeah, that's going to take 36 months. Stellantis doesn't have 36 months. They talked about maybe dropping this new engine that they've been working on for the last 36 months and the new Magnum engine, which part of the Insider dropped, I don't know, a year and a half ago, somewhere around there, uh, that they were developing it. They have that on the shelf. They could pull it immediately and start manufacturing it. But that also would be about 24 months before we could see those engines in those vehicles. And Stellantis knows they have a very short window and they have to make very specific decisions now if they want to be profitable uh, come 2025, 2026. And it's not just the Charger. We're also talking about an engine that could be also used in the Ram. It gives a consumer another choice outside of the Hurricane. The Hurricane engine is not going anywhere. They're just giving people options. It was no different than if you bought a Charger and you bought the 5.7, the 6.2 Hellcat, or the 6.4 um, Scat Pack engine. You had multiple choices when you bought one of these vehicles, and it looks like Stellantis is going back to that. Engineers have got back to the executive team and made it very clear to them that the quickest, most efficient way for them to get a V8 into these vehicles is to move the strut towers and fit a 5.7 liter Hemi in these vehicles. Uh, the 6.2, 6.4, supposedly, you know, all around the same architecture. It would take a little bit more to make those fit or a little bit more than the time that they would have to make it fit because one of the executives said, well, what about a Hellcat engine? Could we fit a Hellcat engine in one of these vehicles and this in the in the uh, engineers did tell them that it of course it is possible but they would be looking at like a 24 again it puts them in the same you know time frame you're looking at a two year to three year difference before that vehicle could ever come to market and for them they want to be able to have something that they could have on a dealership lot in the next 18 months they already have the platform it's literally just putting the uh the engine into it that's it uh we've already talked about this with the with the ram they really didn't train change the transmission i think they i think they went from a 70 to a 75 uh the number on the transmission from zf and um so you know it's not going to affect a 5.7 liter hemi if you mate that up with that's the same transmission just a little bit more durable right because of the torque numbers so um, it'll be interesting to see if Stellantis pushes the button for the go-ahead with a 5.7. Now, are they going to release just a 5.7 or would they turbo it to make it interesting? Because it it's kind of like looking at the power numbers, right? If we're looking at just the numbers that are created by the engines, it looks like the 5.7 would be right kind of on a level playing field with the regular output uh, hurricane engine so if they're gonna drop a 5.7 you know for the sound for that v8 for that rumble i think they probably put a turbo at least one turbo on it just to get a little bit more of a performance than you're getting out of the hurricane engine that's just my guess not what i've heard this is just that's an educated guess but uh, yes, the engineers did tell them that if they if they really wanted to get this vehicle, if they really wanted to release this Dodge Charger with a V8, the, the quickest 
easiest option without a whole bunch of different uh, changes on the assembly line to make this happen would be to fit that 5.7, but they do have to make changes to the strut towers. And um, that was something else that was mentioned. If they do make the changes to the strut towers, it would stay that way for all power plants. So the current ones that have been manufactured are a certain way, but if they do the change, they would just leave it the same way for every other power plant uh, that they would put in there, whether it would be EV or the hurricane or whatever moving forward. So we're probably looking at maybe end of 2025, beginning of 2026, if they go forward with it. You know the second I hear it from my sources or from my executive sources at Stellantis, I will let you guys know here in a video. But <clears throat> let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How would you feel? Do you feel like a 5.7 liter Hemi is better than what you're getting with a hurricane that would be coming now? I mean, me personally, the old push rod system is a tried and true system. I know who the Hemi tick. I, look, if you maintain your own vehicles, if you if you do it the right way, if you do your oil changes when you're supposed to do them, I've never had a problem out of a 5.7 Hemi. I've had them in trucks. I've had them in my Chrysler Aspens. I've had them in a, in a Chrysler 300. You know, I, I, I've never had an issue with that engine, you know, outside of like, water pumps and stuff like that which normally fails it's not but the engine itself never had a problem but uh let i'll, I'll leave the question to you let's have a conversation in the comments what do you guys think five seven would, are you going for a five seven hemi in this charger or do you think the hurricane's a better option do you think they're going to turbo the five seven let's have a discussion give the video a big thumbs up if you like what i do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and as always stay petty my friends Thank <laughs> you.